Well, all leaks that come from a public protector's office are very unhelpful because what happens is that people then tend to uh, debate and deliberate on, on issues as if findings. Clearly, we need to wait for the report to come out. Uh, she, she's, she's doing her investigation. We should allow her to complete it. And then we have a basis to discuss. We don't know what APSA's response is to that. So until we have the full facts of the story, I think it would be prima, premature to, to comment. Well, the reasons why, that were advanced by the president it, are to do with the, the warrantless searches, which prior to the bill being taken to him, were investigated and there is case law. It's inconceivable that the state law advisers who advised the president on the constitutionality of the law before him would not have drawn his attention to the fact that the courts have already taken a view in respect of this and that there is no basis to send this back on, that, on those grounds. So it is quite clear that uh, the uh, grounds for suspicions are strong as to what the true reason why this is being delayed. Some of us think that is to allow and facilitate continued um, uh, money laundering um, and, and we are concerned about that. Well, the fact of the matter is that uh, we have not made as much progress as we need to have done to address issues of economic justice, to address inequalities and marginalization, to address poverty and so on. But it does seem that we have a, we have a president who has made radical pronouncements in respect of this and has done nothing about it. So it would not be the first time that he projects himself as a radical transformation uh, proponent. The fact of the matter is that if you compare what he's been saying and, and the things that have happened, it's chalk and cheese. There is no consistency. So it, it seems to me that he is borrowing from uh, his Zimbabwean counterpart in President Mugabe. In the face of trouble for his failings, he's looking for scapegoats. The reality of the matter is that we have corruption here that is stealing resources from the people. We have an agenda that is about enriching certain people instead of addressing the true inequalities and we need to confront that and that's, that's our point.